32-year-old Christopher Agosto Laracuente Coto kept quiet when approached by our photographer this morning. Do you have anything to say about what happened? But investigators say he had plenty to say to a young teenager last month when she called a 211 helpline for the crisis center of Tampa Bay. Things started out fine, but then detectives say he began calling and texting her from a restricted number believed to be his cell phone, a major policy violation. This person claimed that he was just checking in on her. He told her his name was William. However, the conversation continued to progress and get a bit more personal. More personal as in asking for the the girl's Instagram name and then allegedly sending her X-rated pictures and asking for some in return. She didn't and instead alerted a school resource deputy prompting the investigation and his eventual arrest. It is completely unacceptable what he did, taking advantage of a minor in her most vulnerable state. To know that a place where um, vulnerable people come every day to get help, that was, you know, that was the piece that for us you know, all of us take it very personally. The crisis center of Tampa Bay says Lara Quente Cotto had only been working there a couple months. He did pass a level two background check before being hired. He's been fired. The center is now re-examining its policies. I really hope that everybody in the community knows that we are still here, we are available, and that this will continue to be an anomaly. This is not something that we ever want to have happen again. And investigators say he was also a volunteer at a church in Wesley Chapel. They, again, are concerned there could be other victims out there. So if you are one or know someone who might be, of course, give the sheriff's office a call right away. Linda, back to you. Josh Cassie reporting live for us. Thank you.